Centuries ago, master archers were able to perform incredible feats of archery. These skills have long since been forgotten, but the Danish archer Lars Andersen is trying to reinvent what has been lost. He uses forgotten historical methods and holds all his arrows in the same hand he shoots with. Once, this technique was widespread, and Assyrian artwork shows that the method is at least 5,000 years old. Arab Archery, the most extensive historical book ever made about archery, states, this is the best type of shooting and there's nothing beyond it in power or accuracy. Using this technique, Lars has set several speed shooting records and shoots more than twice as fast as his closest competitors. And being able to shoot fast is just one of the benefits of the method. But the big question is, why has it been forgotten today? About 10 years ago, Lars started using a bow. The arrows, he carried in a quiver on his back. Surprisingly, the quiver turned out to be useless when it came to moving fast. The back quiver is a Hollywood myth and was not common in the past, but it is still spread all over the world. Why? Because modern archers do not move. They stand still, firing at a target board, something that was unknown in the past. These archers also started placing the arrow on the left side of the bow, just as archers do in movies. This is probably due to the fact that aiming at a stationary two-dimensional target makes you aim with one eye instead of two. This one-eyed aiming also led to bows with front sights and other technical gadgets, but that's another story. However, placing the arrow left around the bow is not good while you're in motion. By placing the arrow on the left side, your hand is on the wrong side of the string, so you need several movements before you can actually shoot. From studying old pictures of archers, Lars discovered that some historical archers held their arrows on the right side of the bow. This means that the arrow can be drawn and fired in one single motion, which is both faster and better. And this was not the only problem with archery today. Lars realized that what we thought was historical archery only works well for modern target archery and Hollywood films. If he wanted to learn to shoot like the master archers of old, he would have to unlearn what he had learned and start reading historical manuscripts instead. He would have to find his way back to a time when archery was simpler and more natural, exactly like throwing a ball. In essence, making archery as simple as possible. It is harder to learn how to shoot this way, but it gives more options and ultimately, it's also more fun. A war archer must have total control over his bow in all situations and must be able to handle his bow and arrows in a controlled way under the most varied of circumstances. The old manuscripts told Lars that master archers could shoot the bow with both hands and still hit the target. So he began practicing. It is also described that an archer in motion must be able to hit a blade so that the arrow splits in two parts, like this. Archers could also pick up enemy arrows and shoot them back, or grab arrows while on the move and fire them rapidly. There are even myths of archers who could grab an enemy's arrow and shoot it back at him. Lars took it a step further and is now able to catch an arrow while jumping and fire it before he hits the ground. Perhaps most importantly, modern slow archery has led people to believe that war archers only shot at long distances. However, Lars found that they could shoot at any distance, even up close. This does require the ability to fire fast though. In the beginning, archers probably drew arrows from quivers or belts, but since then, they started holding the arrows in the bow hand, and later in the draw hand. Taking it to this third level, that of holding arrows in the draw hand, requires immense practice and skill, and only professional archers, hunters, and so on would have had the time for it. When guns started replacing bows, this technique was forgotten. And the only reason Lars is able to do it is because he spent years practicing intensely. The hard part is not learning how to hold the arrows, but learning how to handle them properly, and draw and fire in one single motion, no matter what method is used. It works in all positions, and while in motion, whether rolling, running, or on horseback. It also works with sharp arrows and powerful bows. And while there is no doubt that those war archers of the past were stronger and more fit than Lars's, his arrows still penetrate chainmail armor and the heavy gambeson worn beneath it. It is difficult to compare actual striking power, though. Modern archers use only one hand, but in the past, some archers allegedly used both hands to give the arrow more power. Old manuscripts tell us that it was common to hold three arrows in the draw hand at once while keeping more in a belt quiver. We know that some archers held more, and in a way, the bow was the ultimate weapon. Who can escape ten arrows fired quickly after another? 
From old texts, we know that Saracen archers were expected to be able to fire three arrows in 1.5 seconds, and very skilled archers were even faster. Lars has managed to shoot three arrows in 0.6 seconds, but while speed is important, hitting the target is essential. To test accuracy and speed at the same time, Lars set up an experiment where he shot incoming arrows with arrows of his own. But he took it one step further. In the 1938 movie, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Robin Hood splits an arrow down the middle. Some consider this the ultimate archery trick. They're wrong. No! The ultimate archery trick is splitting an incoming arrow in two with one of your own. We do not recommend you trying this at home. Thank you for watching.